gotcha. Right there. Looky, looky there. Let's hit shop. Oh, wow. Fancy cameras. There you go. And we're shopping for cameras now and tripods. You guys, look at this. Look at this. Those are ideas for recording things like nice cameras and tripods. Because what I did was took a picture of the camera. And then Pinterest is like, here you go. That's what we're talking about today. Pinterest lens and the visual search tool. I'll tell you what they are, how to use them. Hey guys, it's Tabby with Simple Pen Media, and we are here to help you rock it on Pinterest. First, Pinterest Lens, which is what I started the show with. What is it? Pinterest Lens is a way for you to basically capture whatever object is out in front of you in real life. And when you say like, ooh, wish I had that, would love to shop for it. You can go into your Pinterest app, hit the little camera icon in the search bar. It's to the right. Hit that little camera and then take a picture of the object. And then Pinterest will give you suggestions. Pretty cool. <laughs> So then what's the visual search tool and then what's the difference really? Because I have actually gotten these two mixed up and thought they were the same thing and I've seen other people do the same mix up and so I just learned that really they're two different things. So let me tell you what a visual search tool is. The visual search tool is how you can find products that are similar to or the same as something you see on a pin. So the Pinterest lens is how you find things that are out in front of you in real life. The visual search tool is how you find products that you see on Pinterest itself. So let's say you are scrolling through Pinterest and you find a living room setup. So like it's a view of the whole living room with all of its pretty decorations, the couch, the coffee table, the objects, the lamps, the rugs, all of it. And you see one particular object that you would like to put in your living room. So let's say it's a rug. This is where you hit that little icon in the bottom right of your pen, which is also why you do not want to put your logos in the bottom right of your pens as you create them. Put them in the middle. Anyway, that little icon in the bottom right of the pen is what you can push and then zero in on the object you would like Pinterest to search for you. And then Pinterest will give you a bunch of suggestions for that rug. Something to keep in mind, sometimes the visual search icon isn't there. Instead, it's a it would be a button that says search similar products or shop similar products. And then basically Pinterest has some tags on various items in the image that they have matched with other similar items that you can shop. But if you are able to use the visual search tool, this is how it looks. So here we have some pins. Um, and I'm going to choose this one because it has a specific type of item on it. And so right here at the bottom right with the little magnifying glass, you're going to click on that and then you can pinch and drag and make this little square as big as you want it to be. So I'm going to try and put it on this box and then visual search has some suggestions for you. There you go. So what does this have to do with you as the marketer or the business owner? Because really, you know, you as the business owner is not actually going to be using these features. It's your audience who should be using these features. So your takeaway should be that your images should be high quality, clear, and branded. If you have images of your products or affiliate products being visually displayed in your pins, then they should be high quality and easy to find. Have you used these features on Pinterest? If you have, leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought of them. Also, I would love to know your opinion on the search similar products or buy similar products feature that Pinterest has, where they are basically suggesting other products that maybe aren't yours. I don't know. Let's have a discussion. And you're probably here because you're wondering how to do a lot more with Pinterest for your business. So here are some suggestions for you and I will see you next week.